It's finally looking like spring here in Canada. The birds are chirping, the sun is shining, and I'm able to enjoy this warm weather outside. I'm going to show you how you can enjoy the sunshine and keep yourself healthy, safe, and looking fabulous. So keep on watching! Oh, 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 oh. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie, and if you're new here, I'm an internal medicine doctor and I make videos on health, wellness, as well as my life as a doctor. So follow along by subscribing to my channel and click that bell so you never miss a video. What is our biggest fear about the sunlight? Sunlight is made up of UVA and UVB rays, which is radiation that can affect your skin by causing sunburns, photo damage, as well as skin cancer. In order to protect ourselves from these dangerous rays, we just need to stay inside. <laughs> Just kidding, that wouldn't be practical. What we need is sunscreen. There are two main types of sunscreen, and they're based on their mechanism of action of how they react to the UV light. The first is an inorganic filter type sunscreen that was formerly called a physical barrier, where it actually uses mineral compounds such as zinc oxide or titanium dioxide to reflect the UV light away from your skin and disperse it over a larger wavelength. In contrast, there are organic filter type sunscreens, also known as chemical type sunscreens, that actually absorb the UV light into your skin and convert it to heat. But no matter what type of sunscreen that you choose to use, the most important factor is the SPF, or the sun protection factor. It is recommended by dermatologists to use an SPF of at least 30 or above prior to going outside. An SPF of 30 has been shown to reduce the amount of sunburn by 97%. Now 97% is quite a lot, and anything higher than that is really negligible. So things like SPF of 50 may not provide that much more protection, but using an SPF of at least 30 or above will keep you safe. Why should we use sunscreen? Sun damage is the leading cause of photo aging, which includes increasing pigmentation of the skin, loss of elasticity and collagen, as well as increasing wrinkling due to chronic exposure to UV rays over an extended period of time. There's also the risk of skin cancers, things like actinic keratosis, basal cell carcinoma or squamous cell carcinoma, and of course, melanoma. When the UV light is exposed to your skin, it causes an increase in mutations in the DNA of your cells. And although our body is very good at sometimes overcoming these mutations, Sometimes there's just too many mutations for it to overcome, and this can lead to an increase in overgrowth of cells and eventual skin cancer. So how much sunscreen should we be using? There's something I like to call the teaspoon rule. And although you're not going to actually measure the amount of sunscreen using a teaspoon, you can kind of gauge that this is the amount that you should be using for certain parts of your body. So I would use one teaspoon for your face and your neck, one teaspoon for your front torso and another for your back torso, one for each of your arms, and then two teaspoons for each of your legs. And this should be the appropriate amount of sunscreen that you need to keep your skin safe. Now let's talk about the timing of sunscreen. You should be applying sunscreen at least 15 to 30 minutes before you even go outside, because this will give the sunscreen the amount of time needed to actually form a protective barrier over your skin. Then you should apply the sunscreen at least every two hours while you're outside and even more frequently if you're swimming or excessively sweating. It's even recommended that once you get out of a pool or an ocean and you dry up that you should immediately apply your sunscreen even if it hasn't hit that two hour mark. Sunscreen is also very important to wear all year long as it not only protects your skin in the summer but in the winter as well. Just because the sun may not feel as warm and it's not as hot as in the summer, sunlight in the winter is just as dangerous. Other things that you can do to protect yourself while being outside is to limit your time in the sun and also avoid the very intense sunlight. So the time between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. is when the sun is at its highest and hottest. So avoiding that time in the day is very helpful to protect your skin. As well, you wanna wear things like a large rimmed hat, sunglasses to protect your eyes, and even, although this may be difficult when it's quite hot and humid, long sleeves such as a cotton shirt to protect your skin and to protect areas that may not always get covered by sunscreen. These are all very important things that you should do prior to going outside so that you can enjoy the sunlight and still be healthy and safe. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
Comment down below if you want to hear more about skincare tips in the summer as well as skincare in general. And also, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Everyone, stay healthy, be happy, and I'll see you on the next one.